be making a Drawa Ion Blaster. For our blaster, we use templates from the Happy Trooper. You can find his video as well as his channel in the link in the description below. We tweet, we use his templates and we tweet um, our blaster to fit how we needed it as we added lights into ours. So and you'll see how we add the lights and how we made the gun and everything like that in the video. Okay, we have here most of the parts laid out. Um, I still need to cut a piece and put it behind here to block off the receiver bolt. Got our three pieces that make it the barrel, or the end, I should say. That will slide into. Got our holes drilled for mounting the barrel to the wood. Simulated bullet cartridge that will attach right there. You now I got to take the aluminum and make the trigger guard go right here. One thing we're doing different here than what was on the um, Happy Troopers website is we're going to install LEDs. So I have a small momentary switch, so instead of using the trigger as he described, this will be mounted up into the wood here with the wire going through the wood coming out here into the barrel to the end where we'll have several LEDs. Probably put the battery in there too. 9 volt battery in there. Make like an insert that will go in here. Make up say three LEDs in two. I'll get a little more work done and we'll come back with some more updates. Once we're going to round it over all the edges, try and get a little smoother, so it'll be a little more comfortable in our hand. Alright, so I'll show a little couple pictures of this making the trigger guard here. Attached it with two screws. I took one screw out just to make it easier for right in a second. Use our adapter off our gun to bend it around the, uh, to make the end of the trigger guard. Held it in place. Lined up, made a small tick mark where the screw goes into the wood. Started my screw, held it in place. Made another tick mark where it hits the bottom of the wood here. It's measured out about an inch. So we're going to cut it there, drill a couple of screw holes there, it'll melt underneath there, there. That'll tell us where our trigger is going to need to go, which is right here, which in our case is a red plastic button. So it'll go approximately right there underneath. So I'll drill a hole through there, attach this, run the wires up into here, which will in turn run to our barrel. So I'll drill another hole through our barrel this way. So we'll go through our barrel, go out the end, and then we'll wire it up as we said before. And we'll come back with pictures of that. Okay, we use our scroll, our scroll saw to trim off the aluminum. Drill two holes there, mounted it, along with the um, temporary mounting again with the magazine. And we a little tick mark there where we want the um, trigger to go. And we'll drill a hole for the trigger, come up through here, and how we can run the wires. Alright, we're going to start gluing it together. I'm just going to use some super glue on each one of the fitting type tips. They're all pretty tight, so I don't think it'll take much more. Apply super glue around the edges. That's a little light, but I think it'll work fine. Be 
good. Part one. Let's keep going. And what parts are these two? That's the beginning of the barrel. So I'm going to this piece right here. Why do you sand them? Oh, you sand so you get better connection. Oh. Just like for before you paint, you always sand your pieces and all. Oh, Same yeah. purpose. It's actually a super good gel. That makes any difference, I don't think. But Take that far. So this is like the end of it, sort of like the end of the barrel. No. Yeah. And then it goes into this piece. All right, which is in the barrel. Yeah, I'm saying you're creating the end of the barrel. Oh, I'm creating the end of the barrel. Okay. Goodness sake. And these are just rounded off. Yes. I think all the edges rounded or just this one? Oh, uh, this main is almost rounded. Oh, I don't. Yeah, that's no, pretty much almost rounded. You look at the E600, which I think is what Happy Trooper did. Which that's great stuff too, just have a little more lot drying time, which isn't a problem. Fix it into the barrel. Now I've glued another piece you can see on the hole there. I'm just cut a thin piece of um, PVC, stripped off the edge. Just kind of seal up the air of the paint is sticking there. You don't have a gap. Then we'll have the um, hot piece. Yeah, the piece move back and forth, which won't move. And of course, this is all pre sand too. We're not going to glue this in quite yet. We'll maybe we get to that point. And I won't glue this on to about ready to paint it. Just make sure we got anything. I don't want to seal anything off so we can't get back in there. Just in case we want to change something. I'll probably round the edge of this a little bit. Does this look like a plunger though? Yeah. Hey, I love that. All right, so we'll experiment here. We're going to. So I'm going to stain, mix up some brown uh, acrylic paint, which I've misplaced, uh, there we go, watered it down some, or a fair amount, I'm just going to try brushing that on, what do you think about the color? That looks good. You got the full paper towel for me? I do. Here you go. I'm going to get them separated. Let's see how this works. Thanks. So it's kind of like a wood stain yep, almost? Yeah, exactly. The gun should be stained. Hmm. That way it goes from that like color to this dark brown color. And again, it's just this paint and then just some plain tap water mixed together. I can see our brown come out pretty good. Our homemade brown stain. You know, we need to work on the receiver portion of the barrel. Then what we'll do is I'm going to take some of this uh, old brake line I have here, cut it to fit in the hole, which we may have to widen. It'll slide in, stick out a little bit. We'll cut a piece off, we're about to stay there. 
mark it. Longs draw off with. There, there. And then um, when you make a little ball for the end of the receiver, my daughter has some of air putty. Model magic clay. Model magic clay. Model magic clay. And we'll take and make some of that, make a little ball right around the end of it, let it dry, and paint it all. And then insert it into the barrel. I'm not sure you can see down that barrel. You can see where you glued the extra piece for the inside. You're going to go through this hole. This will go through that hole, across the wedge up, and we'll glue that with some E600 or some super glue. So we'll get this cut and come back. Okay, so we have spray painted all the little gadgets, like all the little things we've painted. These, so you see the brass ones, completely black, just like that. We've painted the um, gun. Just with some clear stuff, just kind of seal it in. Then we're taking the long stock and we paint that completely flat black as well. So yeah, and then of course we have the um, magazine. We paint that silver, and then we have the little. We have the little like receiver thing there. I don't know what that is in there. It's just a little bit of the clay. So that's just completely like that. So that's there. So yeah, that's what we got so far. Now we're probably just gonna leave this overnight or something, and then we'll come back to it and start putting it all together for today's project. All right, see you then. All right, we're ready to start trying to assemble our part, pieces and parts here now. First thing we're going to do is get our wire. We'll make sure we can get the wire through the barrel before we attach the barrel. here. Can we tie one up certain parts? Okay, we're just about done with the gun here. What I've done, as you saw in the last video, we ran a electrical wire through, from the switch through the barrel, out the front of the barrel, into that. Ran a 9 volt battery. I cut a piece of foam, dished it out, shot some black spray paint on it to make this little Insert the go in, hold it in place. We have three LEDs in there. Put a little strap on the side so kind of reach grab it to help, to help pull it out of the gun. Got our solder points, which we didn't solder, we just hot glued. And to test it, we'll just 
Like, like so. Pull the trigger. Works good. All right, we'll put it all together and um, come back and we'll have Lily demonstrate it for us. Now that we've finished the Jawa Ion Blaster, this is what it looks like. You know, like the record spots are in the center. That's what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all the links to all the social media still in the description box below. And don't forget to check out the Happy Tree Bruce links as well for the video that we use for reference on the gun as well as the channel. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!